talk about a story that we've been following throughout this playoff run. More than 800 late Bengal fans were able to, in a, in a special way, make the trip to L.A. for the Super Bowl. Our Genesis Narrows has more on the No Fan Left Behind movement. Oh my God, George, look at it! Look at it, we just go! George, we just go! An idea that started from one Bengals fan and their lost loved one quickly exploded into a movement which touched the lives of so many. It's just, it's been one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Aaron Denton is the man behind the No Fan Left Behind movement. He and his team printed the faces of lost loved ones on t-shirts which were then worn at the Super Bowl. Literally as soon as our feet hit the ground we cracked open the suitcases, started handing out shirts to fans. Denton and his team handed out every single shirt made. From the moment we got out of the Uber to walk to the stadium, I mean, it was like there's one, there's one, there's one. and. People were seeing us and going, look, I got my person on. Tanya and Sonia's brother, Roger, was one of hundreds represented in this movement. Their grade school teacher wore Roger's shirt. He died four months ago from COVID. Back home, just sitting there thinking, oh, wow, my brother's really at the Super Bowl and he's experiencing this halftime show. It was it was, a, it was a big week for us. It was. A big week for so many families. For Elizabeth Rourke, she gets emotional after seeing her sister Crystal represented among the crowd. I'm, I'm just choked up over the whole thing and how wonderful people are and how much this brought people together. To have the opportunity to bring somebody that recently passed that was a super fan, um, I mean, it was just all kinds of emotion. A newfound movement that goes beyond a football game. To see him in the stadium, I mean, it was, it was just, it was magical. I mean, it was unreal. With an accomplished mission, no fan left behind. Jenna Cisneros, Local 12 News.